Hi, I'm Paul, this is Polymate 3D, and today we're going to be comparing the new Tenacious 6 driver versus its predecessors all the way back to FT51 4OS to have a look at how things have developed. Let's get started. Tenacious 6, from the look of it, would seem to perform similar to FD51 and WF81 before it, but the data coming up will show you how much my own skills and knowledge have improved this year to deliver a better result. It uses the same magnets and washers and is in fact the last iteration to use this cost effective motor design. Don't let that put you off though, it is just the beginning for Tenacious 6, with a large set of plans ahead of it, including use cases in my own home. Over 90% of you are not subscribed, so if you're watching this to see the improvements, hit that subscribe button and be first to see the latest videos on development. Today we'll be looking at the following four areas. Sound pressure level at 1 watt, 1 meter. Bass extension. Distortion average from 40 to 150 hertz. And distortion peak. This gives us a good overall view of how 3D printed drivers are doing. In a later video, we'll dive into how this compares to against industry drivers again. Let's look at SPL. Here we see FD51 4OS producing 69 decibels, and two months later, FD51 4PE, the Patreon edition, pushing this up to 73 decibels. This continues with WF81 capable of performing the same SPL, but with more basic extension as we have seen before. The larger surface area should allow for higher SPL, but the weight of WF81's voice coil keep it at that 73 decibel mark. Tenacious 6, with a surface area between the two, is still capable of outputting more sound at the same power output with 75 decibels. This is a big positive, as the power handling of Tenacious 6 is also higher than most of FD51 series. Moving on to base extension, you can see a clear gain moving from FD51 to the two-way system using WF81 for the low-end bass response, improving base extension by more than an entire octave. This is a significant difference. Tenacious 6 again, with a smaller surface area, should be somewhere between the two, but the work on the new suspension system enables the design to achieve a bit more base extension than even WF81. Remember that for the two-way system, you need to create two drivers for each cabinet, along with obtaining twice the magnets and washers and a bipolar capacitor to create a crossover. Tenacious 6 here is giving you better base extension at a higher volume on half the components Endeavour and WF81 needs. This would be a waste, however, if distortion is sky high. And again, we see FD51 series lag behind. FD51 isn't a bad driver at all, and I'm sure all the people who have created them will attest that FD51 is impressive for a 3D printed driver, but this result speaks volumes when it comes to the advancements that have happened here. Moving to WF81, the first finite element analysis based suspension shows a drastic drop from 14.9% distortion to just 3.1% on average. Tenacious 6 performs ever so slightly worse here than WF81 at 3.3%. But this difference is very minor, and actually Tenacious 6 was focused on looking at the peak distortion in the base region, the worst case scenario. So let's go check that out. Here we still see a big drop from FD51 to WF81, which makes sense due to both the suspension work and the fact that WF81 is a larger driver. However, you can see WF81 peaks at 8.3% distortion compared to Tenacious 6 5.3%. This shows us that across the base region, Tenacious 6 is more consistent in its performance. So now we have seen this data, we shall have a deeper dive into how the first driver this year, FD51 4OS, compares to Tenacious 6 now. Remember, these drivers use the same components and filament usage is also similar. Starting with maximum SPL, FD51 4OS has a power handling of 3 watts and a lower 69 decibel response at 1 watt. This produces a maximum output from a single driver of 74 decibels. Tenacious 6 not only outperforms this at 1 watt already, but can handle 5 watts of power resulting in 82 decibels, an 8 decibel improvement. Moving to frequency response, we see FD51 produce a reasonable 136 to 15,000 Hz. 
This is not bad for its size, and especially for us making them on the FDM 3D printers. Tenacious 6, however, improves that the lower end response by more than an octave at 52 hertz, and also extends its high end frequency response to 17,000 hertz. Wrapping up the results, you can see along with the higher power output and extended frequency range, Tenacious 6 also drastically lowers distortion from 19.6 to 5.3% at peak. This, as mentioned before, is running the same magnets and washers, but also glue and wire. This means if you have made FD51 4OS already, you can go and make Tenacious 6 now with no additional component costs. Not made a driver yet? Struggling to obtain the correct parts? Or having to order from multiple places. I've now made a kit available on eBay to order, which is £15 before shipping. This kit has the magnets, washers for a pair of drivers, along with the wire and glue for four drivers. Perfect to make a pair of FD51 drivers first to learn with, and then make to say Tenacious 6 when you want to go to something bigger and more capable. In the next video, I'll be going through assembling Tenacious 6. This will include print settings and a step-by-step -step guide of making it. A big thanks for watching and to all my wonderful patrons. Tenacious 6 is now available on Patreon along with two cabinet designs making up what I call the starter pack. This starter pack will be made available to everyone on December the 5th, giving everyone a nice printing project for the end of the year. During the run up to the end of the year, continued development will happen on Patreon only so there has been no better time to get involved. Feel free to subscribe or follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Smash the like button if you liked it, and give me a thumbs down and a comment if not. I plan to reply to every comment, so any question or thought, big or small, drop it down there and I'll get back to you. Stay safe, and see you in the next one.